Uh, obviously, a, you know, a, a great uh, defensive, great team effort uh, throughout the game. I thought we came out uh, just ready to go. And we sustained that through the 40 minutes, which you need to do against a good team like that. Like that was all, uh, overall team effort. Uh, I thought Levi did a terrific job here, uh, you know, on the boards of uh, uh, blocking shots, uh, changing shots. Uh, and Tony, as always, controls our tempo. Levi, you just talked about the last several minutes. <coughs> what has gone on for you? Um, uh, just, yeah, defensive and uh, Well, mainly uh, me and Coach Doherty have been working on uh, rebounding and working on position that way. Um, haven't scored this much in a while, so it's a uh, Nice treat, but um, no, uh, just positioning and footwork is one of the things we're working on. Um, making sure that you stay in between you and the uh, basket and the ball. The fact that you're a senior, is that at all? It seems like some, some senior just finally figure it out. Uh, I don't have Ryan Willen in front of me anymore. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, uh, learning from the best is uh, Jared Mintz and Ryan Willen coming before me. Uh, Showing you the tricks of the trade, I guess. Um, but, you know, definitely the hourglass is taken away, and so, you know, start pushing. Could you guys just talk about the defensive effort? It seems he gave them a little dose of their own medicine on the, on the defensive front there. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, I think we came out from the start um, really just controlling the game in general. Uh, we were scoring, which, which meant they had to take the ball out of bounds. Uh, we know they like to play really quick, and that kind of, uh, stop the momentum on their side whenever they did get a bucket, you know, we'd come back and score and force them to, we could set up our defense, so um, that and just uh, being able to get uh, the balls on our hands, or uh, get hands on the balls, and that we had six steals, and um, in general, I think whenever we um, turn the ball over only six times and not rebound them, we're going to win. Talk about the fact that you've got two, two guys and then a bunch of sophomores and freshmen. Is that all taken its time until now? Um, well, it took a little bit for you know the freshmen. It's always going to take a while for the freshmen coming in to, uh, for it to click, and it, just the the difference between high school and college is it's a, it's a big difference. And uh, I think that you know, especially with Bryce and Zach, you know, they're just really starting to get it, catch on. And the sophomores have you know improved from last year. Even they got a lot of playing time last year. Uh, it's it's a good thing for them to. Um, when you, when you play a lot as a freshman, it helps. It helps. Coach, you not here, but uh, speaking of lights going on, Tris really had a great second half after having a little foul trouble there in the first half. Yeah, you know, and the good thing, I guess, we were, had a little bit of lead so I could not take the chance or be tempted to play him more in the first half, uh, which was great, you know, and then I could say pretty much and only with two fouls into the second half. He's our inside practice. He's somebody we throw the ball to down there, and he does a very good job around the basket. And uh, uh, you know, coming out in the second half, we were we did, we wanted to get off to a good start. I think having Dan with only three fouls was or two fouls was, was really key for us. How about defending the three point shots? Is that something that he's never gotten back at age? Yeah, we we started doing some switching as well, trying because we had the lead. You know, uh, maybe you don't have a lead, you don't want to switch off with your big to one of their guards. You know, but they were kind of going to have to try to shoot them back themselves back in with the three. So we we did more switching, and when you have a lead, you can do more things pretty much. And that's what we're able to do. The offense in the second half, seventeen points, twenty three points. Yeah, you know, I, I do think that when we got the lead, um, they were a little tired at the end. They just came off a, a huge win on the road. And I think uh, they were a little tired. They, I don't know if they had the legs to get back in it at that point. So we were getting some uh, some real open looks at that point. Were you guys surprised that they never really made any kind of a run in the second half? Um, I mean, I was pretty surprised actually, just because we know how good they are, and they, especially when they get steals and get out and run. Um, I mean, it's, it's a huge difference not having McCollum in there who can go on runs by himself in there. So uh, I think we played really solid defense, and uh, the fact that we only turned over six times really allowed us to, to set up our defense and not allow them to go on those big runs too. And every time they didn't make a three or get a layup, we came right down and made a three or got a layup ourselves. So um, I'm just really proud of the guys tonight stepping up and getting this win.
How important was the, the fast start for you guys? I know I talked to a coach at practice the other day. He said on the road you guys kind of you know, are a little sluggish maybe on the road um, early on. How important was it turning the tables you know, tonight? Like Lehi <laughs> always jumps out to a quick start on us. And one of the things coach told us in practice was that we need to come out with more intensity than they do even. So, and I thought we did a good job of coming out with a lot of intensity and um, uh, really pushing and making sure that they didn't go on a big run as well. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. One more. What are the defensively lately that you've seen from this group that they haven't seen now? Um, you know, I think that just our guards set a tone, you know, right from the start. You know, Tony and Bryce has been great as far as getting up, and he doesn't need much help. He just gets over the screen and gets through the screen and around the screen. I think that sets a tone for our whole defense. And, and obviously, Levi has really done a good job of protecting the rim for us. And, uh, so those factors, uh, and we, it's something we've talked about and keep impressing upon them. I think Dan's done a better job defensively. Uh, so I think individually as well as collectively, we just, our intensity has turned up. And as I said, we need to just continue to be more consistent and do that and bring it to the next game.